The first boyer of the night. Good to Hello. see you, sir. Hello. Second boyer. Third boyer. No free ads. No. <laughs> no free ads. I'm really trying to hide. Someone grab the solo cups. No free ads. Fifth boyer. No boyers. Slay. Favorite episode of Boyers. Right, right uh, off the top of the head. The one about. Uh, off the top of the head. The one about March Madness. The one about March. That was such a good one. Yep. Uh, last week's. Last week's was yeah. so good. I have a lot, actually. I know you do. You actually have a, <laughs> some pretty strong opinions about the matter. I. When Henry released the 20 through 11 of his top 10, yeah, like you knew there were going to be some people on the outside who like didn't make the top 10, and he had to defend a lot of his uh, decisions, and he ultimately made a lot of bad ones. So, yeah, that, that was <laughs> Worst great. decision you made? Uh, Donovan Mitchell at 22, oh. the 22nd Ooh. best player in the NBA. That's that crazy. was kind of whack. That's yeah, super he made whack. that list preseason, but I, th I think it's it's, it's it worse. remains whack. Yeah, yeah. for me. It is every single JMO shot CJ ever did. Mm. I second that. Go yeah, see. Absolutely second that. Go see. JMO down the house. Oh, favorite episode: Boyer's Obelisk, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a deep cut. Only real that's ones know. Cut. Only real ones know about the Boyer's Obelisk. <laughs> uh, I got two uh, draft special. Sorry, and uh, <laughs> Boyer's not brawlers. Oh. Yeah. 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 Boyer's not brawlers, baby. <laughs> I, I have to go with the one where they went on a 10 minute rant about Giannis and the working class. No! Oh, that was mine! You guys ready? We were meant for this moment. This we were meant for this. We've worked really hard. Yes. Come a long way since filming in my dad's weird office that's between his bedroom and his bathroom With and the folding table out, that, yeah, was, that was yeah. a preposterous setup. People we weren't set up for success in that situation. However, we've achieved some success. Yeah, so don't, don't measure it, but just trust us when we say we've achieved success. Mm -hmm. We've done a hundred motherfucking shows. Mm -hmm. And we're about to add to it tonight. Let's go, baby. I heard these tickets went for a lot of money. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 100th episode of the Boyers Not Ballers podcast. Woo! I am CJ. Thank and you. And I'm Henry. Folks, we have people in our backyard. We've decorated the backyard. The 100th episode of this very podcast. And first and foremost, thank you all for being here. Of course. It means a lot to see so many well-dressed, freaky freak people in the crowd today. Um, Listen, this is a loose show. This isn't like yeah. a ringer show or like you rent a bar and you're big time. We're in the backyard. <laughs> if you have opinions, yell that shit out. If you have takes, yell them out. We want the audience to be involved in this Boys show. Rocks. Thank you, Whoa. thank you. Yeah, only positive stuff, please. <laughs> only positive stuff. Um, wow, 100 episodes, Hen. <sighs> wow, I mean, I, I can't even express how much fun this has been for me. I have uh, just a endless replay of takes that are going around my head almost every single day and having some kind of outlet to share them with you. Another guy who has basically the same amount of takes going throughout his head is a real privilege and a real honor for me and I've really greatly enjoyed every minute of it and I've greatly enjoyed that other people have enjoyed it enough to show up to this. Yeah, it's crazy that you all are here. Thank you again for being here. We're going to dive right in, Henry. Thank you. Thank you. We'll work on holding for applause, okay? Hold for applause. Yeah. Hold for applause. Yeah, no, we know no, there's going to be a no, lot. No, 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 you hold for applause. Oh, they, don't, uh, they, they give the applause. Okay. Okay. So anyways, um, we're going to get into the news of the week. Little, uh, I'm not going to say the show's name, but it's like a, it's a debate show. Two old dudes. Yeah. It's on Espen. So we're going to do... Show us the hat. 
Well, first of all, yeah, let's see the hat here. It's upside down. Take the stuff out of yeah, it first. Take the stuff out of it. We're really not prepared for this. We don't really deserve this. any of this. Are we good here? Yeah. The Boyer's hat, the yeah. big hat. Yeah. Yeah, get ready to fix um, the hair. Woo! Yeah. I think uh, all, all credit belongs to Brian Robinson and Herschel for, for purchasing this hat. Thank you, Herschel. Thank you, Herschel. Way to go, Herschel. Present company. Um, and yeah, this yeah. is. This is definitely the best gift I've ever gotten from anybody in the rest, entirety of my life. Yeah, I gave him F1 racing cards for his birthday last year. It doesn't even compare to this. Well, so we, uh, one of them is Nikita Mazepin. Okay, we're, this isn't Boyer's. Hey, this, hey. this isn't Boyer's not drivers. This is All Boyer's right. not ballers. Let's talk NBA. I'm going into the crowd here. Can someone pull something? Nikki, pull this out of the hat. That's not where the hat is. There you go. Take one thing out and announce what it is to us. Eight minutes on the clock. Each segment is going to be one minute long. We're going to discuss a variety of topics, and at the end of each topic, much like a, a previous episode that we did, I will be shouting out, instead of a president, a vice president. Vice president. Justice for the VPs. Everybody Justice for the right. VPs. Yeah, so. Their names are lost to history often. So, mm -hmm. once the one-minute timer is passed, I will shout a vice president, we will pick another one, and yep. we will move on to another topic. Can't wait. Nikki, what do we got here? What are we starting off with here? Okay, it says, discuss uh, Samaj P. Ryan's 2021. <laughs> 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 God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Who did this? So, Samaj P. Ryan. Henry, I'll let you have a Okay, here. one minute on the clock. So, Samaj P. Ryan. Oh, buddy, don't even get me started on Samaj P. Ryan last year. So, it all stems from the fact that I own Joe Mixon in fantasy. And, yes, fantasy clouds my mind. 100% with the NFL, and throughout the entirety of the season, Zach Taylor, head coach of the, the Cincinnati Bengals, for some reason thought that Samaj P. Ryan, who was never a receiving back at any point in his life, especially at Oklahoma when he backed up Joe Mixon, was, okay, this is my third down back. This is my Christian McCaffrey. This is my Tony Pollard. This is the guy who's going to catch it. Catch, what? Samaj P. Ryan backed up Joe Mixon. Yeah, they both went to Oklahoma. You I thought he that? was like 36. No, that no, guy looks old as no, hell. he is not. He I is not. I didn't know that. No, that guy, he's young? Yeah. Motherfucker looks old. He okay, looks continue, though. I'm sorry. Joe Mixon, basically. What? And for some reason, <laughs> Joe Mixon kept getting taken off of the field on the most important plays, including in the Super Bowl, on that third down run when he gets stuffed up the middle by Aaron Donald, ending the Cincinnati Bengals season, losing to the Rams. It, it caused me so much heartache, but we need to move on. Adelaide Stevenson. Wow, thank you, Henry. All right. All right. Ooh. Jamie. Ooh. Thank you. And what do we got here? What's next? Lamar Aldridge. Ret ret so Lamarcus Aldridge. Lamarcus Aldridge. Aldridge. <laughs> Lamar Aldridge. Lamarcus Aldridge retired. Yes. Oh. Oh. It's his second retirement. Yeah. He did recently. He retired because of a heart issue, came back, and then retired again. He tried to be part of that Nets super team. Yep. <sighs> that didn't work out. He um he said in his retirement he didn't want to be like, he was like taking TB12's advice. Yeah. On like you only get one heartfelt retirement. That wasn't very fair because he retired because of like health reasons. Tom Brady was just like, I quit. And then two days later was like, nah, I'm going to stay. So well, he wanted really to spite fair. Adam Schefter. That's the only reason he did it. It was surely, surely only out of spite for Adam Schefter. Is LaMarcus Aldridge a Hall of Famer? Judging by the NBA Hall of Fame standards, I mean, I should say the Basketball Hall of Fame standards, yes, I think there's a good chance that he gets in. By any other sport, a guy who has probably close to 20,000 points, made a bunch of all-star teams, was a part of really important teams throughout the last 10, 15 years of the NBA, all those Spurs teams, that won, one of them won 67 games, those Blazers teams, the start of Damian Lillard, and he was great, even great at Texas. I think he'll get it. All right, one minute, John Calhoun. To you, sir. I like your outfit, sir. What are you wearing tonight? Thank you, sir. Who are you wearing? wearing? Who are you wearing, wearing, sweetheart? Wearing Vera Bradley Dill collection. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know she released her kosher line. <laughs> <laughs> Julius Randall injury. Bing bong. Oh. The next season is over. Sorry, it was fun, but it's done. Julius Randall out for well, it's the reevaluated in two, two weeks. weeks, which is the playoffs, which means it's over. I'm sad. I'm sad for Julius Randall. He's had a great year. A lot of people, my co-host here included, have disrespected him the entire season. Had him way too high 76. up. 76. 75. Best, 75th best player in the league. That is so disrespectful. Yeah. The NBA put him in the three-point contest. That wasn't very fair. That was yeah. like putting me in the three-point contest. No one wants to see that. Julius Randall. <laughs> Thank you, Hirsch. Thank you, Hirsch. Respect on the Kentucky name. 
Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna be we never get held to like a Kentucky standard in yeah, our yeah. shows. No wonder Nikki is front row for this. He's wearing his blue. He's just gonna he be like excited to heckle. Yeah, he's like, oh Tyler Hero. <laughs> so anyway, Julius Randle injured, not great for the Knicks. Emmanuel quickly's gonna have to step up. Jalen Brunson yeah. is gonna have to step up. It's gonna I mean, be tough. They they have a first round matchup with Cleveland. Cleveland is currently playing them right now, and it's a close game as is. And it's not looking good for them in the first round. I think Cleveland probably takes them down in five or six. George Clinton. Who? I've never heard that name before. What do we got right, here? We've got Celtics Bucks. Oh, baby. What a bloodbath. Let's go C's, baby. I've never once doubted the Boston Celtics. I've never once sent negative texts. I've never once been upset. I've always said I trust Joe Missoula. I've always said I like Tatum and I like Brown and I like Al Horford and I like Peyton Pritchard. He didn't really play. I like Blake Griffin. And Derek White. You know who I don't like? Thanasis onto the Kumpo. He should be suspended for life. Do you see that? You can't head you can't headbutt a man. You can't headbutt a man. That's He's only taking from his brother. Remember when Giannis headbutted he headbutted Mo Wagner in the, oh, in the yeah, bubble. We right. all forget That's, about that. Yeah, he just, People forget. People do forget about Mo Wagner and that headbutt. So it was a great win for the Celtics. Bad look for the Bucks. Not a lot of depth on that team. I'm just saying. I don't care if they played back-to-back -back nights. They didn't show up. I will say this. Milwaukee Bucks fans seem like they're very good people. You like. Always I've always said that. Like, on Twitter, they're like, yeah, we lost by 9,000, but at least Giannis put up over 20 points. Like, uh, they seem like good people there. Celtics fans, we're not like that. It's a toxic fan base. Jalen Brown was right. <laughs> Calvin Coolidge. Okay, we're going this way now. What do we got next? Yeah, Hirsch. It's okay, Hirsch. <laughs> oh, we got a couple in there. He's got two. My confession is mine didn't say Samaj. No, I, Nikki, I know it didn't. Okay. <laughs> it's called improv, brother. <laughs> KD, Charles Barkley feud. Oh, God, you take this one. Okay. So Kevin Durant and Charles Barkley have been trading jabs for the last, what it feels like, two years now. Yeah. It all started with Charles Barkley saying that Kevin Durant, his rings were as a bus rider and not as a bus driver when he was with the Golden State Warriors. It has led to a lot of back-and-forth jabs between the two. Kevin Durant is a guy who is always going to respond to his haters. Whether it's in a burner account or out in public for all to see, Kevin Durant does not take shit. He no. will fight back, he will talk shit back. And credit to Charles Barkley, he didn't back down from it either. He not. continues to double down on it. $200 million man, Charles Barkley. <laughs> so it's just a really interesting situation and it kind of shows the, the difference between personalities, between stars today and stars of the 80s and the 90s like Charles Barkley. Is yeah. to live? Oh. <laughs> strike that strike that no i think charles barkley and kevin durant are true foils kd lives in the twitter war he's got burner accounts charles barkley just goes on and says you know whatever the hell and he then wants. never thinks about it as soon as he gets off but that's why he's funny kamala harris oh okay <laughs> you're never losing a beef with the nickname slim reaper though. that is true that is true yeah the full job was poor and i acknowledge that and that's on me Zion done? Oh, oh boy. Nice. Uh, nice. <laughs> so Zion. Wasn't interesting. So I was going to make you talk about the Kings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zion, I think it's over, man. Another season down the drain. Poor I'm, guy. I, See, the bad, thing is, is so the thing with Zion, and what concerns me more about Zion than even like an Anthony Davis. So when Anthony Davis gets injured, it's due to injuries. He just gets these weird freak things. He twists his ankle. He lands on a foot. He falls his, at the yeah, table it doesn't make any sense. There. But for Zion, and what's more concerning about that is the fact that he doesn't seem to heal from injuries. He gets one injury, and then the timeline just gets pushed back and back and back. And next thing you remember the foot injury that he had last year. He had foot surgery two weeks before the season. Nobody really thought, everyone was kind of confused by it. Nobody thought that this was even on the table. And then I think they said originally six weeks to two months. And he misses the whole season. So yeah. it's just a really, really, really weird situation. And I, I fear that the injury bug is just never going to escape him, unfortunately. And the Pelicans are good. Gerald Ford. People forget that Joel Embiid missed, like, the first three years. For, first two and Zion's in year four. People forget That's that, the difference. that uh, Coach K had Zion and two other top three recruits and couldn't even get to the final. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm glad you said that. I mean, he has always said that. Where's Marty go? I'm glad he Justice said that. Justice for Pete Gaudet. <laughs> <laughs> final four. Oh, the final oh. four. Oh, oh brother. Uh, Can you remember who it is? Uh, who, uh, I think uh, Florida is involved yeah, somehow, yeah, right? Some Florida teams there's there. A, there's who, a Florida. Who? That was on purpose. Uh, <laughs> 
Here's who I'm rooting for. Woof, 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 Yukon. Give me Yukon. No. First, hold on, hold on, hold on. This sh you don't know anything about Huskies because if you think that is the sound that Huskies make, Husky <laughs> Huskies bay, they howl, they are so loud. Is it a deep bay? What's <laughs> bay? <laughs> Boo! Like I love this crowd. Bay! bay. No. But, but uh, going back to the Final Four, I think UConn is an overwhelming favorite right now. Miami couldn't give them a push, but I think if they meet San Diego State or they meet Florida Atlantic, both teams have had impressive runs so far. But just what I've seen offensively in the, the shot-making talent from Miami and far and away UConn, those are the two best teams. They are just the two best teams. Yeah. And I would honestly be, I'd be shocked if UConn doesn't win this. I really would. And... That's, I, and that's putting oh, that is putting a curse on them, oh, but I but I really oh, do think it's God. true. Oh my God! It's Dick over. Cheney. Oh, really hit the dick there. That was interesting. Yeah. The last topic. Whoa. Last one. All right, I got to come up with a great vice president for this one. Oh, Yeah, let's talk about the Kings. The Lakers are not good. Listen, I saw Brian Windhorst, that LeBron guy, being like, the Lakers want the Kings. They'll beat the Kings. They will not beat the Kings. The Kings are a better team. They're going to beat the Kings. They're going to beat the Kings. Why do you say that? That's a bad take. Kings, they're going to beat the Kings. Bad take. Light the beam. Light the beam. On the beam, I'm as in on the beam as anybody. I'm so excited to see Sacramento good. I'm so excited to, sac to see Sacramento relevant. I think they need one more piece in terms of like a top 50. He's been saying this all year. They're the three seed in the West. He's been saying this all year. Le the East, bro. But how have we seen? <laughs> how have we seen that the regular season has been devalued every single year? It just gets a little bit more devalued. And don't get me wrong, what the Kings have done is really impressive. They, if they get the right matchups, they can get to the Western Conference Finals, no doubt about it. However. I just trust in LeBron and Anthony Davis if they're going against a team like the Kings who have not had any real playoff experience. And we end on Hannibal Hamlin, vice president for Abraham Lincoln oh, in his like first a term. Silent reaction. <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry. We don't have any. We Lakers. don't have any Hannibal Hamlin. Lakers have not been over 500 in 400 days. And also the the free throw differential. Any comment on yeah. that? They're taking like 900 more free throws yeah. than everybody else. I'm gonna the fix the, is in, folks. I'm going to invoke my Fifth Amendment right LeBron, on that one. LeBron James is maybe it's. <laughs> the in NBA Maybe it's me. Yeah. TBT to that. So that was fun. Again, we're, we're taking from a show on Espen. We're not going to talk about it anymore. Thank you, everybody, for participating. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to move on to the next part of the show here. I went back this week and give him his hat. Yeah, give him that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wow, this is awesome. Yeah. Wow, this is, what a view here. What a view. He's decked out. It's like Marlin Man if he just didn't try. <laughs> Actually, if he tried more, I would argue. Um, anywho, I went back and I listened to the tape of our very first Boyers Not Ballers episode. Now, people don't know this. Henry and I did record an episode. The audio is fucked up. We trashed the whole thing and started over. So... If you count yeah. that, this is actually Boyers 101, but we're not going to count it because we're the Boyers. We make the rules. It might be in the archives somewhere. Maybe we could pull it out. Yeah. The Snyder cut. <laughs> <laughs> the Santa Swasso cut. The Santa Swasso cut. So I, um, I went through, I listened to the episode, and I, I strung together like a four-minute segment of things that we said. Um, Henry, if you want to stop, y'all stop, I'll stop. If I want to stop, I'll stop it. If the crowd wants to s me to stop, y'all stop. We're going to listen to it. Uh, warning, it it's a tough listen. I, I think the fact after, after listening to episode one, I was like, we did 99 more of these? That's crazy. But We didn't quit at six? Yeah, we probably should have. But we're, gonna, we're here now. We're having fun. Thank you. Here's Boyer's episode one. Here we go. Technically episode two. We don't worry about it. Welcome, everyone to the inaugural Boyers Not Ballers podcast <laughs> where a couple of Boyers talk ball. I'm CJ. I'm Henry here. Uh, pretty big week for uh, Fuss! <laughs> I'm coming out sounding like NPR, like, hey, CJ! <laughs> yeah, you, went, you kind of went weird there. Yeah, was very NPR <laughs> yeah, voice. You, you whisper. It's probably the most quiet I've ever heard so, you. Have. So today, the Senate once voted. Like, well, that's yeah. the, speaking of, you sound like the Bob Ross of podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of politics, you get into politics as we continue. Oh, politics. God, that quickly? 
NBA podcast. Wow. We that's inaugurated that's a new NBA podcast. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. we did record this a couple days after the Biden inauguration. Um, to preface, and we'll get this out of the way now, so you can never be held accountable for in the future. We are boyers. We are not ballers. No. We have never played. When did you look last play basketball in your life? About a year ago, I would say. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I meant like you played on like a team, not yeah. like pickup, and you're like, oh, here we go. Yeah, so it was a bad start. We probably should have just packed up and gone home there. So <laughs> we could have gone back to Target, returned the mics that we bought. <laughs> and we continued for 99 more of these. We continued How much were the lights for the first episode? Oh, uh, like 45. Maybe. They were in the 30s. Yeah. They were That's in the 30s. Per, That's the best thing. Per? You know? really yeah. the Amazon basics. No, oh, there's was, the blue. There's the snowball the blue. blue. The snowball blue. blue. Yeah, it's the big guy. Yeah. Blue. We continue from a target and sharing us. Out of the gate. We hope you don't. We hope you don't. If you don't. Like, you can't just listen. Yeah, we told people yeah. not listening. Exactly Why are you whispering? He's getting a shot. I don't know. He's a great school. He's, he's having a great year when he does play. Obviously, he took a few weeks off, and you know sometimes he's do that. We all you know need our time off, but. Like Hold on. So, that was the beginning of Kyrie Irving. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So we said on the first episode, Kyrie Irving took time off, and that's fine. People need to take <laughs> time off, you know. And, and then I, I, I didn't include this part, but the next part, we, I say we're pro mental health on this podcast. Oh. So Kyrie Irving would take some time off for other reasons. We move on. Chris Paul and Russell Westbrook are. Chris Paul is one of the thirty greatest players of all time. And that's Russell Westbrook. Westbrook. Hey, Westbrook on the Rockets? So, Hen I can't turn it up much louder um, than that, but you said Chris Paul and Russell Westbrook are top 30 players all time. Would you like to amend that statement? Wait. Kind of a hot take. Let's table that. We'll get back yes. another time. Yeah, so I said so this is the other time. So this is the time. We tabled it to now. Are they both top 30 players? Top 30 of all time. Chris Paul and Russell Westbrook. <laughs> no. I, I... That was said with anticipation of them having better latter halves of their careers than they've had so far. Chris Paul obviously made an NBA Finals and was very good in that playoff run, but his regular seasons since then have been fairly underwhelming, and I really don't think that he has done anything to significantly add to his all-time case. And with Russell Westbrook, obviously the <laughs> disaster that was that Los Angeles Lakers stint has, if anything, actively hurt his all-time ranking. It's too bad. Also, can you guys hear this? Okay, I can swap speakers if you want. Uh, I can hear it. It's fine. hears it. We move along. Yeah, start so, with the defending champs. The Lakers. The Lakers. The Lakers. Lakers. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Besides, like, Nick Wright. <laughs> so he, I love, he loves LeBron. I love LeBron almost too personally. But I think it's my favorite player, DeAndre Hunter, former university. That <laughs> took <laughs> 10 <laughs> seconds. He's <laughs> high as a shoe. And they had that conversation with the Celtics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was the intro to LeBron and DeAndre Hunter, which somehow worked into every single show. Like, <laughs> I haven't mentioned DeAndre Hunter in a long time. Because yeah, he blows! Like, yeah. he's a waste of time! And the Hawks are a waste of time. 500 Nick, team. Nick Wright with or without hair? <laughs> Yuck. With. <laughs> with. Without, it's a miracle he got on television. We move along. That's Your bias is showing. Bias. <laughs> bias. bias. This part of the show, let's call it, what did you call it? We talked about it off here. Boyer banter. Boyer banter. <laughs> oh, Whoa! Oh, Whoa! This is a segment the whole we never podcast is banter. We never mentioned Boyer banter a single time. Because the whole podcast is Boyer banter. He accused you of coming up with it. <laughs> I did say that you came up with the idea. Oh, no. Like, under, yeah, Boyer banter. As if the prior was not bantery at all. All right. We keep going. And I'll put in some music right now that describes it. For context, I'm upset with Henry. And I can't, you can't show you're upset with the podcast, it's an audio medium, so I, he was doing some nerdy shit, and I wanted to express that I thought it was lame, and this is what I did. <laughs> Pat Riley's rock. He hit, he, hit, he hit the skip to my loo. I hit skip to my loo, but then I did something else. I want to go really long. Well. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> <Daddy>. <laughs> Thank you, Bring back nerd shit with Henry. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so nerd shit with Henry had no legs on it, and it should have, because Henry was in the basketball cards. I still have a lot of basketball cards. I think the next segment is about that. Hold on one sec. Make sure the audio sets the tone of what you can't see my face. But my face is disgusting. So Henry was, again, he's going back to Henry. Got Henry. I already got, I already got you. 
<laughs> Cody Martin car. You tell me that's not gonna be worth millions one day? I don't know who that is. I literally don't know. He's on the Bulls at the time, right? No, he was on the Hornets at the time. Sweet lives on Cody. Thank yeah. you, thank you. So, Henry was, when we were buying these blue mics for 40 bucks at Target, Henry was also like, oh, like, 45. where are 45? Where are the basketball cards? And I was like, what? And I have to ask, I haven't heard about a basketball card in like nine years. The market's crater. Okay, that makes sense. You got Cody Martin. And you tried to argue that Cody Martin. It's, it's no arrow factory. <laughs> I'm not, okay, so, you know, they say, you know, buy low, sell high. I, I bought about as high as it gets. So I'm just waiting for a semi-high to recoup That's any it. bit of my investment. <laughs> On the first episode, I asked you, you bought a Luka rookie card. You wouldn't tell me how much you paid for it. It's Lawyers 100. How much did you buy that Luka, uh, Luka Doncic rookie card? It's like for? 200. Which means Ooh, it was four. Buddy. <laughs> oh my god. Lawyers, not Silicon Valley Bank state. <laughs> Stockholders. We, we move along here. Can you expense that? Unfortunately, no. That's a write off. Buy the dip. Probably Friday night you can have a beer with your Oh, that's, this is the key that's part. That's what we are. That's our vibe. We're like the natty light in a backpack you find. <laughs> like, we're fun, but you're like, oh, what's that? Yeah. That's Don't sell yourself short. Like, you know, the golf course that you go to where you bring a speaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Do you still self-identify as a natty light in a backpack? Name of the first episode. Yeah, beer at the yeah. bottom of your backpack is the name of the first episode. And for whatever reason, no matter how many times we That's change true. the Boyer logo, the original logo does not change on no. the first episode. I've tried. I've written to Spotify about it. They won't change. I have it. long hair in it. Yeah, people were freaked out by the long hair. Tom Hort in particular was like, "This is strange." But the long hair was a thing. People forget I have long hair. But yeah, so I don't think we are the beer at the bottom of your backpack anymore. But also, using that as like a comparison is such an indictment on how I used to behave myself. Being like. <laughs> It's like off the top of my head, a, a beer next to your books. Like that just means it's I was like just something that you always had. I was just bringing beers to class in college. <laughs> That's kind of what that is. And I was listening back to it, I was like, oh brother, this guy. <laughs> we move on. But you're having a good time. But well, you're having a good time doing it. I'm doing it. Now. We're not there yet. No. We're not we're saying that this is the golf car. We're not golf car speaker. We're not breaking down defensive win shares. And no, no we'll leave that stuff. to like the nerds. Yeah, the Warriors. We're not about yeah. that. We'll, we'll no. crack open some beers. We'll talk. I think about that. Yeah, he that's is kind of first podcast. That's this awesome. is the wrap here. Great work. We'll be back on Friday. Enjoy the week. Have some fun. Watch some basketball or do other things. You don't listen to anything that we say. <laughs> you don't, but you guys are all here now, so thank you. Stay safe. Stay safe out there. Stay safe. 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 And this song, is this a good song? I just stopped using it for some reason. Yeah. And we end there. This is good. So that's episode one of hey. Boyers Not Ballers. Um, I like to think we improved at least a little bit. We did. No, no, we're not doing them all. Recorded at Henry and I's apartment. Yes, yeah. that is true. Yeah. That the is mango. true. The mango. How long ago was that? Uh, the years. first show was like January like twenty eighth, twenty twenty one. End of January. Yeah, because I the reason we did it, I was unemployed and was just bored, and I was like, <laughs> I gotta do something, and we were playing. Like Call of Duty, some nights Henry and I. Yeah, and we were just. Some nights. And I kept trying. Oh, I, kept, I, I kept trying to be like. I kept trying to nudge Henry. I was like, "What if we did a podcast of sorts?" So, so it was called Boyers Not Ballers. Right? I was doing all this side work, like trying to convince him. He finally bought it, and Henry. You were at my dad's house. Yeah, so, Tell so us a little bit of background. I, I went for a weekend originally. It was obviously during COVID. No one was going into work, and I think I came on like a Thursday or Friday, and I stayed the weekend. And then essentially every day I just pushed it another day. So I was at CJ's dad's house for like 10 days. And every day I'm like, I think I'll go home tomorrow. Wake up in the morning. Ah, I'll go home tomorrow. Next day, ah, I'll go home Wednesday. And my dad pulled me aside. He's like, hey, see, is Henry good? Like, is he homeless? <laughs> What's going on here? He's not leaving. I was like, I think he's fine. I think he just doesn't want to go home. But then Henry was so kind. He was like, let me make you guys a dinner for hosting me. And what did you make? So this is uh, the densest meal I've ever cooked. And it was lasagna soup. <laughs> the heavy cream was so fucking heavy. We, my, we had half a bowl, everybody. You're like, yeah, oh, we had a, we each had like a it. small bowl of soup and oh, just 
out for the count. Yeah, it was just the it most was, cal- caloric thing I think I've ever. Was it good eaten. though? It was good. Yeah. It was it was worth it, but it like rich. it was it was rich. It was <laughs> heavy. Was it initially intended as lasagna that just kind of became so, lasagna? No, no. The recipe was, was called lasagna, lasagna soup. soup. Oh, there was a recipe. I was yeah, following, the recipe following a recipe called lasagna soup. He had that locked in. He so. ate meat. Oh, yeah, back oh, when I was eating meat. Back when he was eating meat. A lot has changed since then. Yes. We will be right back. Welcome back to Boyers 100. Obviously, this is a pre-tape because we're at the Big East Tournament, which is long gone. I think future CJ is going to be angry at current CJ, who bet Seton Hall to cover. It's looking awful. It's looking bad. But we're at the Garden. Boyers take the Garden for the third time. We got the Garden together. I think it's twice. Two times. The best arena in the world, and the worst arena in the world, is Barclays Center. Welcome back to Boyers 100. Everyone knows, thank you, thank you. Everyone knows I hate Barclays Center. You like it for some reason? I will defend Barclays Center. I've, I've had a good time every time I've won. Folks, what's better, MSG or Barclays Center? Shout it out. MSG. I thank never you. said thank Barclays you. is better. I said it's just not bad. Would you rather go to any other arena or Barclays? Barclays. Any other UBS. Any other UBS. Yeah. Yes. I will also say in that video, I, I am pissed at my past self because that was my first bet that I lost. I think I finished all of March, like, Three of nineteen, and counting, I have Caitlin Clark and Iowa to cover. Can so. can I just say one thing? Sure. Uh, on our uh, Super Bowl episode, he said he was going to stop gambling after the Super Bowl. I would like to look at his FanDuel and DraftKings account and see exactly how many wagers he has placed since the Super Bowl to determine just how much of a liar you are. Absolutely. Yeah. Listen. Oh, Tom Brady. Yeah. Yeah. See, he came out of retirement and then wasn't good. <laughs> Brother, it's, it's a content game, my man. <laughs> Moving on, James, welcome on to Boyers 100. Woo! Underneath this great pickle suit, great hat, shorts. We got Pickle Jim in the house here. Um, Jim. James has been... Sorry, sorry. You're looking at your phone, the brim covers your entire face. Don't do something like that. It's because I need this. James has been on the show before. And his whole takeaway is that you don't know the NBA very well. You don't follow it. So you have some questions for us that we're happy to answer. And we love you out in the crowd. We love you. Thank you. We love you. Boyer's groupie of the night. Yeah. Second, if you're counting me. Yeah, of course, I, yeah you kind of fit the part. So what are some questions you have about the NBA? What have you been seeing? What, have, what can we help you what with? What are some hot takes? Right. What are some headlines? Well, last night, actually, in this fine apartment, uh, I found myself... Uh, tuning into my first NBA game in quite a long time. <laughs> and uh, it just so happened that the team that I was competing was the New Orleans Pelicans. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was a pan shot to the bench at one point, and I saw this morbidly obese man, which <laughs> reminded me to ask, what the hell happened to Zion Williams? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, my God. Oh. Uh, Henry, you could take this one, I think. So, yeah. uh, so Zion just, as, as I discussed earlier, Zion just always hurt and, always and, and, I mean, always hurt and always in the, always in, the <laughs> in the drive through line, it seems like, I mean, my goodness. This is the second time you've asked us about Zion last year. Remember that video of him dunking at the old man walk I out do there? remember that, yeah. So, yeah. I've been preying on his downfall for quite some time. <laughs> but, I didn't know you were. I'm curious if he is actually a, still a member of an NBA team. Yes, he, like he is still man. collecting a paycheck. He is still a member of the New Orleans Pelicans. He was playing well when he was healthy. Yeah, the Pelicans looked like a and, really good team. And before we move on, just one thing that makes me a little bit concerned about Victor Wembanyama because when you say Zion Williamson going into that draft, we had concerns about his injuries. Zion wasn't really hurt in college. He had that blown out shoe. He missed a couple of games, but Zion didn't have a big injury history in college. We were just projecting with the body, the explosiveness, all the things down the line. And with Victor Wembanyama, he obviously is this extraordinary talent. But everyone's like, oh, maybe there's the injury bug. But who knows? Like, you got to take him number one. So that's why I'm a little bit concerned about him. Because with Zion, it's the same kind of injury concerns. It's not the, oh, this guy's constantly hurt. It's the, oh, the body. You don't really expect him to be able to hold up over an 82-game season, especially with a guy like Victor Wembanyama. Been very few guys over yeah. seven foot two, over seven foot three, who have succeeded uh, long term in the NBA with that significant injury. And, well, you, and actually, you... this is a perfect segue into our next, into my next question here. <laughs> While we're talking about you know future MVP candidates or possible MVP candidates, mm-hmm. I'm curious to ask about what I 
as far as I understand, as the current MVP candidate in the NBA, it's Mac McClung. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Mac McClung uh, won the dunk contest. Uh, he is in the G League, but then classic 76ers, they need attention. They're a hopeless franchise with no future or people in the organization that can guide them to victory. They call Mac McClung up to the roster just for the all-star dunk contest. He is the MVP of the dunk contest because he saved it not the MVP of the league. By the way, real quick, James, if you don't mind, you mentioned Zion's blown-out shoe. Underdog Originals has a great Ooh, video yeah. about yeah. Zion's blown-out shoe. Check that out on YouTube, Underdog Originals. Back to you, James. Love a good crossover episode. Yes. <laughs> that was wonderful. All right, uh, my next question, or really, this is a statement for you guys. Uh, I was... <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a setup. <laughs> uh, I mean, I was, I was really, really glad to see that Katie and Kyrie made up earlier this year. <laughs> you know, I, was just, I was really glad. Yeah, um, it, you know, it's a one-sided relationship, and KD just kind of takes it on the chin each yeah. and every time. He's like, are you guys friends? And he gives these, like, non-answers. Yeah. It's, it's a tough relationship, those two. So it's Nets, not good. So Nets championship run? Oh, uh, well, you know, it's... <laughs> You know what they say about the NBA and particularly the Brooklyn Nets, you know, it comes in waves and right now Barclays Center is underwater. So uh, yeah, the waves came a little too fast Someone there. Someone Barclays Center was always underwater. Yeah, you know, that's a good point. That's a good point. They got the grass though, good for the grass. All right, so another question for you guys. Uh, a friend has me financially invested in uh, a pair of NBA teams, the Dallas Mavericks and the Orlando Magic. Um, I'm wondering, do I have any legal recourse against against him or? Ghetto. Um, I drink on purpose. Uh, I, I gave you the Mavericks bet. That was a mistake. They're not making the playoffs. They're dead. It's over. It's terrible. Facts. The Magic. Woo! I've been praying on their downfall. I don't like Paolo. He's small game. Point Guard Express, college all-star team. But I'll tell you something, a secret. I, I think the Mavericks wins over. It's going to hit. You mean the Magic win over? Yeah, what he said is going to hit. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's going to hit, I think. So, Who's but, your favorite Magic player, and why is it Bull Bull? Yeah! <laughs> Bull Bull! He's so tall! <laughs> he doesn't really play much anymore. <laughs> yeah, thank God, okay? I'm Sorry, that was harsh. I guess no one liked that. <laughs> My favorite Magic player is uh, Franz Wagner. You hated oh, Frog. Yeah. Couldn't say with a straight face. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, speaking of January 6th. <laughs> of course, that tees up your next question. Of course it does. What do we got? <laughs> who is Tyler Hero? Yeah. Hey. Who is this guy? Tyler Hero is the best basketball player in the league that has a tattoo of a nipple tiger on his chest. <laughs> if you look at his tattoo, instead of eyes, he uses his nipples as eyes. It's despicable, should be outlawed. He is a child, and that's how he looks. He's the okay. best player that has that Have tattoo. Have we confirmed his whereabouts on January 6th? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nikki, any comment? I'm, I'm just gonna say Tyler Hero is the one that got away from the Celtics. <laughs> oh, brother, I'm glad he got away. Anything else, Jimbo? Anything else in the, uh, yeah, the headlines? One last question. What do we got? I'm wondering, uh, <laughs> uh -oh. man, this has been such a joy out here. Uh, you know, <laughs> sit, We're glad sit, you're having fun. Sitting here in my pickle costume it's and so my giant hat. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's been great to be out here. But my last question for both of you, um, I'm wondering, you know, what happened to John Legend in 2008 and Robin Williams' character in Good Will Hunting? Oh, no, that's right. I'm sitting next to both of them right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, James. <laughs> it's wow. not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you do kind of look like we both do, I guess. Yeah. Thank you, James. Brother, thank you very much. James, everybody, looking great. Now we're going to check out what happened at the Big East tournament, the rest oh, of it. God. Spoiler alert, it was a disaster. Hey, don't tell the missus. I bet the house went <laughs> There's two, so they didn't cover, but I placed a money line bet, and I thought it was hitting right here because of a goal tent. Uh, Five thousand. <laughs> Oh, 
So welcome back everyone. Um, as many of you may know, I had a little bit of a pet project throughout this whole season. I did my top 100 players. Before the season, there were a lot of, you know, CBS Sports, The Ringer, all of these different basketball outlets had produced their top 100 NBA players list. And I decided, I'm a gigantic dork. I like going through numbers. What better outlet for that than actually ranking my top 100 NBA players? So I did. And I released 10 per episode for 10 episodes all the way up to... It took forever. Yeah, it, took, it took a long time. It took a long time. And I made a point of not making amendments to the list throughout the season. Obviously, the season starts in October. I started releasing the list in October, and I didn't get to the top 10 until January. So I did not make any amendments. However, looking back upon those rankings, I realize I have erred in some ways. In many ways, you might add. So... I'm going to go through a couple of the big omissions, the big uh, misses on my top 100 list and see what exactly I got wrong. And let me say this. This is a gift segment to Henry. I'm allowing him three minutes to make his revisions. <laughs> I will be timing him. And we will begin now. Wait, before you start. What is it? I know who number 100 was. Who? Bogdanovich. Boyan Bogdanovich. Well done, Patty. That's is that correct? Yes, yeah, that, Boyan Bogdanovich. It's all the same. Should guy. be higher. Could be, yeah, well, it could be a piston, could be a hawk. I don't know. <laughs> we go on here. All right, so first and foremost, let's get the I rank them too high out of the way. Brandon Ingram at 19, a little bit aggressive. A little bit aggressive. Oh, I like it. All right, Rudy Gobert at 23. That, <laughs> that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Bradley, Bradley Beal and Chris Paul at 26 and 28, Ooh. looking real bad. Looking real bad. Get him out of um, here. The fact that P.J. Tucker was on the list, oh. number 98. What do you rank him? You rank 98. Um, and unfortunately, the saddest of all of the, the overranks, I think, was probably... Um, I, I probably overranked him by about 200 spots, and that is uh, one Ben Simmons, who came in at number 60, <laughs> at 60 on my list. Dude, and yeah, Gem Saloon regular Ben Simmons, I hear. <laughs> That's oh, right. God. Can't confirm. Can't confirm. So uh, the Ben Simmons experience in Brooklyn has been an abject disaster. I really feel for the guy, but then again, I don't really, because he's clearly like taken in no advice and has not worked to improve his game. And even in that J.J. Redick interview that obviously went viral before the season, he didn't really seem to take any accountability for anything that happened in Philadelphia. If I may, Henry said in season one that Ben Simmons was better than Jalen Brown. I did. Take it back. I'm sorry. You can say sorry. I, I said I'm sorry like a dozen times. I just want to hear it one more time. We had like the hundred. It's like technical. <clears throat> like, if you I'll do, I'll I'll do a time. Bill Clinton at the Oval Office apologizing. Uh oh Because yeah, that, that's the people. <laughs> Who <want>. are you? <laughs> America. <laughs> I have made mistakes just like any other man, and I have to understand that part of life is owning up to these mistakes. And Ben Simmons is not only not the 60th best player in the NBA, he's not even close to Jalen Brown. And for that, I am truly sorry. Thank you, Mr. All right, so... <laughs> 50 seconds. seconds. The ones that you missed? All right, so the ones that I missed, first and foremost, the, the main character of season three was not even on my list. Kevin Herter Justice did not make Kevin. an appearance. Light the beam for Kevin. Kevin Herter yeah. did not make an appearance, and I think he needs to go from not on the list to probably in like the 50s or 60s. He is ab absolutely uh, valued that high in the NBA. Um, other than that, Mikel Bridges at 53, he's creeping on top 30 territory, I think, right now. I, Brooke Lopez is very likely to win Defensive Player of the Year right now, and I think uh, that is Derek White, another guy in the 90s. Bump him up. Yeah. Bump him up. Yeah. Derek White's had a hell of a Gilbert year. Gilbert Arenas could learn a thing from you, man. <laughs> what about Al Horford? Um, Al Horford had a good range. Yeah, he, he was in the 70s. I think that's still fair, right? Yeah. Al, is that Lindsay? Is that fair? should be number three. Thank you, yeah. Lindsay. <laughs> Thank you, Lindsay. Um, and that's time. So that's your gift from me, Henry. Uh, my gift that I get to do. My gift to you. Yeah, is gonna be a Freaky Friday segment. Woo! But before 
we talk about, I'll spoil it, a little ski drama in court. We'll get to that in a minute. Oh, yeah, Gwyneth. You've noticed the backyard. There's some spray paint. The fellas came out here earlier in the week, did a little spray painting fun. Boyers, not artistes. Let's see what we made. Hit it. Boyers 100. If you're seeing this, you're watching, so thank you. <laughs> I'm not ambitious enough to try and spell Clark. I'm thinking that Patty will not be getting the Sistine Chapel job uh, when it comes <laughs> up in a couple of years, but you know. <laughs> but he, he Can Michelangelo do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, now it's giving the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is Boyers, not artists. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Boyers 100, we're doing it. 100. Zero, zero. Look at that. Who would have thought? Not me. Oh, not me. Not me. I, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was super nervous about inhaling the fumes. Like, I was laying in bed, I was like, am I lightheaded or just tired? And I, I was just tired. All right, it's time for my gift segment. Folks, cue the music. Thank you. Very, I just wanna jam out Very teen movie. We haven't done a Freaky Friday in season three, have we? It's time for Freaky Friday with the Warriors. Not that VO boys. artist is available. He is rocks. available. <laughs> they want him for car sports. <laughs> All right, folks, it's Freaky Friday time. I'm getting my notes out because some of these characters are very bizarre. Park City, Utah Courthouse saw a big case this week. Woo! Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah! Utah. Get him, Gwen. Gwen Paltrow was called to testify because a guy by the name of Terry Sanderson. Ooh. Yeah, I agree. Boo him. He got in a skiing accident, and he claimed that Gwyneth Paltrow hit him, ruined his day. It was a very privileged courtroom battle, you know? It was very... She didn't look great. She, she didn't look great. He's a Jerry for doing yeah. that. Yeah. Come on, be yeah. Big one dollar. Sued her for one dollar. Big Jerry, and then the dollar thing, too. Yeah. Well, I think the thing about Gwyneth Paltrow... You can't have bone broth in, in court, you know? So, like, she no, wasn't getting her, like, hungry. usual... She was yeah, hungry. She was, she's hungry. You can't she have her scented candles, either. Oh, oh she was fucking Oh, brother. Oh, no. We got a drunk in the audience. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Um, but anyways, this was a 2016 ski incident as well. They just got to court now. This is where Barack Obama was president. Yeah. Listen, no disrespect to the tired. people in the judicial system, you know. I remember. Just yeah. for millionaires. So, <laughs> so Gwyneth Paltrow, you know, takes the stand, goes up. Terry Sanderson takes the stand. Paltrow gets off, is fine. Uh, she's given a dollar, and all of her legal fees were paid for. Terry Sanderson today said, I'm not sure the case was worth it. <laughs> Oh, you don't think so? Which is like such a sad admission to make it. If you're Terry Sanderson. We needed a little drama though in the world. Like it, we needed something. Like we needed a, a case. We all, miss, we all miss Johnny Depp's case. Oh, the, oh, but, but, but the, Johnny, the Johnny Depp case was deep and it was but like, you know, really serious issues. Case. There was good, there was good memes. Pretty lighthearted. You no, know, I thought there were good memes from this one. I, I think I you're right, Jeff. <laughs> I think you're right. I, I Thank you. The Jeffrey Dahmer glasses of one of them. Oh my God, yes. Yeah, I don't really like her very much. I, like her. I, I, I wish you well. I wish you well. I wish you well. That's the last thing she said in the court. Yeah. Case and she, like, he was sitting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So the guy was sitting and she goes, I wish you well. If I say I wish you well, like... It's I don't wish you well. well. I wish you the opposite of that. So, <laughs> when with Paltrow. I mean, honestly, though, if you're as rich as she is... I'd go to court for a little fun, little pizzazz. You're not killing. It's not like, a, like okay, an OJ thing. You didn't kill anybody. Like, like, even he. She should, be, <laughs> she should be sued for Iron Man three. No, that's facts. Actually, yeah. Iron Man three is the biggest movie of all time. That is the biggest movie exactly. ever. Uh, the only thing I have to say about this is I'm looking forward to Chris Martin writing her another song, "Fix You Too." Oh, <laughs> that was a deep cut. Does anyone know that yeah. she dates Chris Martin? She was married. She was married. People forget that there's children that are named Apple, Apple and Moses. Oh, I thought yeah. you were talking about Ricky Martin. No, I was like, Ricky Martin is gay. Like, she's, 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 uh, too deep for you guys. I thought the tomato, 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 tomato. Chris Martin. Chris Martin wrote "Fix You" oh, for Gwyneth Paltrow. Really? Her yes, he did. Dad was really sick or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, while well, her dad was sick to basketball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People don't like Freaky Friday. Yeah, Anything else about Gwyneth Paltrow that we missed from the she audience? She was great on Glee. I'll agree with you. Yeah. 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 Your part deems that irrelevant. She, I'll say she's not a celebrity for the people. No. no. Celebrity no. for celebrity. She's for goop, you know? She's for yeah. goop. That's for the part. You know what? I'm popular opinion. I like her. Oh! oh. Sarah, why do you like her? Why do you like her? I don't know. I think she's just living life breathing air. She drinks, like, you know. When she woke up and she was like, what I eat in a day. Yes. She was like, I wake up and I drink celery juice. Oh, that's and then true. her lunch was like the bone chloroform. Yeah. And then <laughs> or bone she broth, was you know? like bone broth for dinner. And then mm -hmm. she was like, and I'm full. And she goes for walks like, You know what? Why not? That's You're a millionaire. Go off. Probably a healthier way to live. I've had like three Live your life. So that's where I'm at I here. Think, I think she's had an impressive career though. Okay, that's fair. I think I think that's what fair. What movies are she in outside of Country Iron Strong? Man? Let's not do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our next segment, we're gonna yeah, be breaking down Nikola Jokic's Raptor oh, and Bucks yeah. Plus Minus. Yeah. 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 We're back. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. Henry three minutes. So I know I went long. Like four and a half. I went long. That was Freaky Friday. So. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. We um we have an Instagram. We post a lot of videos too, and not all of the videos get to make it on the Instagram for a variety of reasons. I've taken five videos that I was gonna post and didn't. This is called the Boyer's Vault. Hit it. Oh yeah. Love you, buddy. Cheers to Sam, the freaking manatee. Cheers to Sam. All right. So my third and final cheers. You know what's coming. No, please don't. Yes. My first time double cheers and cheers to Kihei Clark. Cheers to Kihei Clark for playing really good defense that whole game. And then in the moment when it mattered, Sam Hauser kicks it out to him. He dribble drives, attacks, causes the Syracuse zone to crash and defend the drive, leaving Reese Beekman wide open for the buzzer beating game winning three pointer. CJ has walked off of set because he was so upset he did not expect another Kihei Clark cheer. He probably expected a Reese Beekman cheer, if anything, because Reese was the one who hit the shot. But I'm no. done! Cameron Diaz thinks her husband's twin is not attractive. Like, let's just strip it down to the bare bones. You're at a bar yeah. and you see one of the twins and you approach them. You don't know who the person is. Like, you don't know that they're twins. So, like, you, you know what I mean? Like, also, Cameron Diaz has been out of the public eye. She doesn't act anymore. But, like, Cameron Diaz being This like, is why she had to come through with a controversial statement like this. He's like, no, because it's not my husband, which I guess I get. But, like, then that makes me wonder, like, is her husband like, hello, I'm your husband. Is the twin like, I'm the twin. Like, you're not, like, like what? Like, <laughs> Is there something off about the twin? Like, is it's it a Mario Wario. <laughs> <laughs> is the twin Mario? Is there something so off-putting about her husband's twin that she like looks at him and is like, ooh, but it's like, the same exact person? Like, yeah, we, like, gotta, we gotta do some digging. SpongeBob Doodle Bob. Like, are we doing something like that? I need to know like if that. that He's not in the garden. And I want to highlight uh, Carmelo today said if there's league discipline <laughs> that Melo and the Lakers quote are not going to put that energy out there meaning if LeBron's not at the garden then the Lakers just aren't going to try very hard so expect that, the Lakers that's the that, most Lakers thing ever a team that, that already most... blows 
they're not going to show up for the garden and they're not going to play well and they probably will lose, but that's so smart. I actually think it's so smart. It is very Lakers, by the way. And it's funny that Melo, a guy from the area who played for the Knicks would do this. The team is going to not play well because LeBron's out. So get out ahead of it and be like, LeBron's not there. You know, we're not even going to bother trying not playing well. Yeah. We're not going to, we're not going to bother trying. So it's actually mm-hmm. kind of smart, I think. But if you're a Knicks fan, you're like, bing bong. What the fuck? <laughs> like, no. Just at Duke and watching some of his high school uh, tape, he's just not a, he's not a very, he's not a good defensive player. And on a team like Houston with no good defensive players, I think that really, uh, it, it's not the best fit. You're going to have to coach them into playing defense. That's for sure. I mean, why don't we run these organizations? Because we know they're going to do this. Henry. <laughs> they're going to draft Paolo Bancaro. And everyone's going to be okay with it. We're going to be cool with it. And then the Rockets aren't going to be any much better, but we'll see. Paolo mm-hmm. Bancaro, it is what it is. Hello, hello, hello. I have a bug on my face. Hello. So I listened to the Boyers draft special a couple days ago. Henry and Nick did a great job. Shout out to them. NBA draft obviously in the books. And I was thinking, you know, I couldn't be there. I'm obviously away from things right now, but I wanted to give a couple points and also shout out the fellows. So I have three takes. Just want to get them out there really quickly. First, Palo Bancaro, Point Guard Express in Orlando. That train has literally no destination. That was a disastrous, disastrous thing for them too. To Benedict Matherin, I don't even know if that's his name, he's going to be a bust. He literally said today he thinks he's better than LeBron. That's a bust. And three, the Miami Heat get their ultimate revenge on the Denver Nuggets and Nikola Jokic by drafting Nikola Jovic. This is what happens when you attack people, Nikola Jokic. Your evil twin goes to the other team. I hope they fight in the future. Now, I also want to shout out Nick and Henry because I did some research. We are small basketball media. We are an NBA podcast, not known as being draft experts. However, I looked at NBA.com, their final mock draft, three of 15 right picks in the beginning. I believe it was The Athletic was five of 15. And then I'm trying to think of the other publication. They were a big guy. They were four for 15. Meanwhile, Henry, five for 15 with his picks. Nikki Sull, six for 15 with his picks. So the boys are smart, okay? The Boyers draft special, highly regarded, highly rated, highly successful. And who knows? Maybe Nick and Henry get back to do another episode. In the meantime, though, I'm going to keep hanging out here. So I wanted them to do another episode. (laughs) They did not do another episode. (laughs) Filmographer, he is not. A filmographer, he is not. If you like Joey Sloss, stay tuned. We have him coming up in a minute. <laughs> I was just drinking my red wine, vibing out. I, I, so I said Paolo Bancaro would suck. Wrong. Benedict Matherin would suck. Wrong. Nikola Jovic would be good. Isn't he in like the G League? I've not yeah, seen yeah, I think him. He's played like 100 total minutes. I've yeah. never heard of him. Yeah, 0 for I 3. Said, I said Paolo Bancaro would be uh, ceiling of Tobias Harris. No. Oh. Oof, you hate to see that. People forget how accurate our mock draft was. Yeah, Nikki was six of fifteen. You had um you had Keegan Murray going to Sacramento. You had Jaden Ivey. You had Jaden Ivey. That was the key there. So what the Boyers draft special, Henry and Nikki did a great job. Great show. Can't wait for uh this year's gonna be tough though, Nikki, because it's (laughs) everyone's in the G League. Everyone plays for like the Ignite or whatever. Like overtime elite. Yeah, I don't know what any of that means. Um this part of the show, audience, Henry, you, we talked about this. Like, Henry's like, we should have the audience just ask us questions. So, yeah. ask us questions. Well, for, orderly, for, orderly. For a few minutes, and we'll move along. Patty, what's, what's up? What's your guys' favorite episode you've ever shot together? Ooh. Um, mine has to be Boyer's Halloween Season 2. That's where I got so angry at Henry because I was like, what are you being for Halloween? He said Fred Jones. <laughs> and I was like, who's Fred Jones? He goes, Scooby-Doo. from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I go, Fred has a last name. It's not just like Fred from Scooby-Doo. Like, that's just his name. No, it's Fred Jones. That was a good show, but we all it was also a bad show. It, yeah. was, it was the epitome of yeah. Boyers where we didn't really prep. Like, I made a joke about Paul Pierce, like, shitting his pants. Like, it was just, like, a messy show, but it was it was really fun to do. Uh, my favorite episode is when I 
live watched and reacted to the Lakers getting eliminated in the playoffs by the Suns a couple years ago because that was right before I was about to fly to Seattle. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I had like a 6 a.m. flight to Seattle the next day and I was just like painstakingly watched Devin Booker score I think like 27 points in the first tough. quarter. That was tough. That was a brutal loss. That was brutal. Other questions? Hirsch. When are you guys going to bring back Boyer's Obelisk? <laughs> <laughs> That's not <laughs> So Boyer's Obelisk Go on our Instagram, it's like the third post I, um, Nick Wright Who's a Fox Sports 1 host Does like a player pyramid And I, I think it was, this was a, a CJ This was idea. your idea I thought it'd be so clever to, to fight the player pyramid with a baller's obelisk because pyramids egypt <laughs> like washington monument to shapes yeah obelisk also egyptian um but none of us have graphic design experience i think i literally took like clip art and like triangle <laughs> rectangle filled it in with gray and then like did a bunch of lines and the, and the names are like off center <laughs> it's not very and good we, like we didn't even write Giannis's full name no i just wrote Giannis because it fit so <laughs> Uh, Hirsch You didn't know how to change font size Hirsch, if we can get someone who can make a pretty obelisk Then yes, we will, we will absolutely bring it back But for now, it's, it's, on, the, it's on ice Omar Where do the boyers stand on a two-state solution for Israel power? <laughs> <laughs> next question, next question <laughs> Alternatively Western Conference Finals prediction Alternatively <laughs> In the same vein, These if you will The original two-state solution um, Western Conference Finals I got the Kings. I've been saying that. I'm going to die on that hill. I got the Kings. I do not believe in the Suns. I don't. I think KD's coming back too late. I don't believe in it. I'm going to go with the Nuggets, though it pains me. But I will say, if the Nuggets don't get there and Jokic gets knocked in the first round but wins MVP, he is the Mike Trout of basketball. Hot take. I just want Ooh. that to be known. Oh. Oh. Like the take. Give me Grizzlies Suns. Grizzlies. Wow. Grizzlies. Grizzlies. All right, Jamie. Boyers, is it time for a Jamo down the hatch? Jamie. Oh! Oh! Jamie. Is it? I right, let me find. Where are they? Oh, they're right here. Perfect. <laughs> it's always time. Henry, we're doing a Jamo down the hatch. Yeah! Which we're almost in Jamo down the hatch season again. Come Celtics playoffs, baby. Oh, That's yeah. gonna rock. I'm so excited. Henry, you've never done J-Mo down the hatch with me. You actually, no. you weren't really pro J-Mo down the hatch out of the game. I don't it was J-Mo down the hatch. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I don't like Jameson, frankly. I, let, let me just say this. This episode, I think, has been a win so far, and so we deserve this. Cheers to you, my man. Cheers. J-Mo down the hatch. Okay. And cheers to the audience. Do I have to say Do I have to say the word? Do I have to say the word? Do I have to say go Celtics? Is yes, yeah. and then say J-Mo yeah. down the hatch. To the camera. Let's go up Celtics, baby, and go Sox, too. Jamie went on the half. Yeah. <laughs> okay, brother. That was awesome. <laughs> ah, God, I cannot wait for the playoffs, baby. Omar, are we going to Five Eye again, brother? Uh, apparently, we're going to get drunk with all those random guys. <laughs> yeah, it, was a lot. It, was, it was a tough group. $200 tough group. on Irish car bombs. Yeah, we spent a lot of money after the Celtics beat the Heat. Any other questions? We have nine rounds of beat. I think that was a good one. Three, two, on. one. Thank you. Oh, Nikki, real quick. I need a uh, State of the Union on Tyler Hero now. Oh, <laughs> God, Nikki. Oh. He's a good player. He's a good player, but the Heat just don't have enough guys. He's had a good year. I don't have anything else to yeah, say. I don't, I don't comment on Tiger Nipple, guys. So I'm out here. <laughs> <laughs> um, finally, for our, our video segments here, Joey Swass. <laughs> The people love him. We got Joey on yesterday from Louisville, Kentucky to do one of the original segments. If Boyer Banter is like the gross like first segment, Friday Fits is the cool second segment we ever did. Joey Swass. We wanted to do it every week. I, t I say this in the video. Just roll the tape. Joey Swass, Friday Fits. Joey Swass. We couldn't do Boyer's 100 without Joey Swass. He's joining us from the most beautiful place in America, Louisville, Kentucky. For those who don't know, one of our very first segments ever on Boyer's Not Ballers was Friday Fits. We wanted it to be a weekly reoccurring segment. I think we did three, and then that was enough. All right, well, this is Serge Ibaka. Ooh. Ooh. Um, it's, Ooh. Oh, my God. It's a tough look. I mean, I feel like je just regular jeans would have been fine, but he has, like, <laughs> he has ripped jeans on over regular jeans. 
that and the regular ripped. jeans are ripped as well. Those yeah, are no, jeans. Ripped. double and ripped. And then, and then he has the flannel. I think he has a turtleneck on too. And I don't even know when this photo is from. I was just I saw it and I was like, this is really bad. Yeah, I rate this a three. But I respect guys with bold choices. This is bold, so I'm not going to totally rag on him. I'm going to give him a four and a half out of ten. The top half of the outfit, I think, kind of works. But then the ripped jeans under the ripped jeans is a horrendous, horrendous call. It's like a six out of ten top half of the outfit, one out of ten bottom half of the outfit. But I do like the shoes, so I'm going to go with a 3.9. Next. <laughs> I forgot I put this one in here. Uh, oh, the short, the short, the, me. Sh- the, sh- the short king himself, oh. Kyler Murray. The color is cool. The lime, I like lime green, but this is just awful. This is this is just ridiculous. One for who it is. Two, uh, the fact that he has no shirt on under it. I don't think. I just think it's funny. If you look closely at the at the picture, the people in the back there are laughing at him. And then the woman who's probably taking pictures is probably like, uh, I don't really want that. Like, it's just not. I don't, want, I don't want an autograph from him. It's giving Sour Patch. I think you guys are overlooking the elephant in the room. This is the Clinton outfit. This is the Hillary Clinton 1.0 <laughs> fit. This is exactly what Hillary Clinton wears. A bright colored pantsuit and the shoe. I got to say, I like the shoes. And... I think it's not bad. I'm going to give it like a five and a half. That's my highest rating so far. It's not great. Oh, God. I, just I have saw the one last... final fit. Oh, um, God. It's really, the photo's not good quality. Is this the, this is the goat right here, right? Oh. Am I saying this correctly? This is oh. your old goat. This is the best NFL player ever. Him. Oh. This guy. I don't need, I don't even know where to begin. Someone. Someone take the wheel. I have no idea where to start. It looks like if if Santa was like an in sync. Like I don't know what to do this <laughs> at all. The red pants, the shirt. Is that his? Is his hair blonde? Is his hair bleached? It looks or... it looks blonde here. I'm not gonna lie. But Tom Brady looks like kind of scared. Like he's like, what have I done? Almost like with this fit. <laughs> that blue shirt. I'm pretty sure AJ has that shirt, Joe. <laughs> you can't be wearing shirts. AJ's wearing Tom Brady. You got to wear something better than that. And the red pants, I have a pair of red pants like that. You can't wear blue. And the fact that Giselle's wearing like a, a tight gold dress and Tom Brady looks like he was chopping wood and then also being the Macy Santa. Tom Brady is not exactly a guy known for his fashionable fits. It's giving Giselle saw this outfit on some modeling trip that she went on and thought, oh my God, Tom, you have to put this on. You'd look so good. And he looks at himself in the mirror for like five minutes before they go out. And he's like, I look like such a fool. And that's what it really is. It is 90s boy band meets like late 2000s hairstyle. And uh, I gotta give like a negative. Not actually, not even negative. I'm gonna go like a. 0.16. No, actually, 0.7 for seven Super Bowl rings. 0.7. All right. Final answer. Wow. Final answer. Well, that's Friday Fits. Joey, thanks for coming on. Um, you've been with us since the beginning. And the Boyers 100 history can't be written without a couple lines for Joey Swass. That's going to be a really interesting. There you go, buddy. Cheers thanks. to you. Thanks, Enjoy Joe. college. Peace out, Joe. You're the best man. Bye, yeah. Joey. Have fun. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> I have a question about Joey. Yeah. Is this light southern accent knee development or is it? Oh, oh. New. 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 I didn't hear it. Louisville, Kentucky. Kentucky. You, You're not from the Midwest. Yeah, you you know. New, for sure. Joey Swass, the best. <laughs> Jen, you like it? Got some fans in the crowd there. Joey Swass looks like young gravy. Is that Iowa, Omar? What is that? What do we got? What's the score? They're up 8-2, 5 into the first. Okay, okay. Eight, wait. Uh, okay. I thought, I thought it was five minutes left in the first. I got confused. Um, Friday fits with Joey Swass. We have some other videos on YouTube if you want to check them out. Yeah. But, again, you don't have to. Yeah. Um, all right. We're going to get into some trivia. Henry and I... Who knows Boyers, not Ballers, better? Should we make a wager out of this? Should we make it a little interesting? Yes. Loser has to take a shot of whatever that is. Boom. Fine. All right. All right. 
Boyer Shriver, you want me to go first or you want to go first? go first? All right. I wrote mine down to kind of like get the suspense factor here. All right. My first question. We're doing five questions, right? Yes. Boyer's trivia. You wrote the question? To him. He's going to ask me oh, questions. Jeez. He doesn't believe in me. Um, what was the name of... When we did Freaky Friday, we made up TV yeah. shows. What was the name of my TV show that was inspired by an improv-based show on ABC Family, and who was the host of this show? I'll give you a hint. It was about vines. Oh. Oh. Whose vine is it anyway with King Bach? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Well, okay. Uh, for, uh, to give you a sense of what I'm going for, I want this to feel like the Friends trivia episode. That's mm -hmm. the energy I'm going for here. All right. What do you got for me? All right. Uh, first question is, what number episode did Joey Swass make his first appearance? Because Joey Swass has been by far the most recurring guest that we have had on the podcast. It's not the first. I'll give you that. It's not the first. It's, there's a, it's between four and six. Over under five. Is it? I'm going to go. I'm going to take what I said. Is it five? It is four. No! God damn. Patty. <laughs> that was my fault. Damn. All right, so Henry's got one. I have zero. All right, question number two. <laughs> I wrote this one down. What was the name of the Star Wars-based Boyers podcast I wanted Connor and Joey Magro to host? Oh, my God. I don't remember this. Can we get a timer? Can we get 10 seconds? Oh, okay. no. I'm, I'm not going to remember this in 10 seconds. It's going to take me, like, five Eight, minutes to get this. Seven. Boyer's not Wookiees? Nope. Three. Ah. Boyer's not Bobas. Ah. Oh. <laughs> not everyone just, needs a podcast. It was supposed to be a Mandalorian theme podcast. That is what Connor said. Not everyone needs a podcast. All right. All right so, but you two do. Thank you. But, eh, so, debatable. What is this all for then? All right, up to you. All right, um, so this, is, uh, this will be the first part of a two part question. Right. Who is the Are first. Taking the SAT. <laughs> 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 If, sp it. if Spanish is to French, no, what? I'm kidding. Um, so who is the first person you ever cheers on our podcast? I knew he was going to ask me this, and I was going <laughs> to look it up, and I just didn't. Um, Tom Brady? Very, very weird, because we, we thought it sh we really should have made a bigger deal out of it, but it was Doug McDermott. <laughs> I did what? Yes. I cheered yes. Doug McDermott. Doug McDermott because he scored like 31 points and you're like, yeah, I didn't expect Doug McDermott to do that. Good for him. Clearly. So that was part, wow. what, what's part two of this? Question? Well, it'll be asked next. Jeez. So I'm down 0-2. Um, question number three. Who does Nikki Soul think will be the number one overall pick in the 2029 NBA draft? And he's not even here to see it. <laughs> well, wait. Hold on. We'll stop the recording. No, 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 no. We got to keep oh, going. No, I know the answer. It's Baron Trump. God damn it. Yes, it's Baron Trump. And he, he better start working on his rebound, and his family could be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Next. So Henry's up 2 0. I'm almost, I'm toast here. No, his father's going to jail. Someone said that ESPN is going to love that his dad was in jail storyline for Baron Trump. <laughs> And Nikki still thinks Baron Trump will be the number one overall that pick. Is Nikki, you hear that? I stand by that. I stand by that. Baron Trump, 2028 draft. Baron Trump is going to be the next Victor Wembanyama. All right, so I'm down 2-0. This is going to get up. All right, so now I feel like this is kind of an unfair second part of the question to ask, but who is the first person I ever cheers on the show? It's an NBA player. I'll give you that. Okay, thanks, Henry. There's like so many of those. But we've um, cheers a lot of non-NBA players. DeAndre Hunter. No. That's it. I'm very, it. This is very weird. I'll like, be doing the shot. Again, I feel like we probably should have made a bigger deal about our first cheers. I mean, I don't think we realized that that would become a big thing for us. But it was yeah. Bam Adebayo. Okay. Well, so <laughs> I'm doing a shot of bourbon and you're not. All right. We'll do fun questions here since this is over. I'm going to have to drink. True or false? Zach Levine is on the Ballers Obelisk. True. That is correct. Henry is dominating this. I know he's on the oh, Ballers Obelisk. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have no answer to that. Um, what's your next question? How many total individuals, other than yourself and myself, have been on Boyers Not Ballers? All right. Me and you. No, we don't count, besides Okay, Okay, uh, Joey, Nikki, Jason Kimmel, uh, Connor, 
James, okay. Trevor. Mm -hmm. Don't give it to him. Emily, <laughs> Alyssa. I guess. Oh, well, because you know we had the conversation as pop star. Yeah, no, that, that, count, that, that counts. That. So how many are you at right now? If I let me Nick. just recount. Nikki. Oh, <laughs> No. Nikki, Joey, James, <laughs> Connor, Jason. Nine? Eight? 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 That is correct. Woo! That was Peronis. close. The Peronis. I'm like, what are my fingers at here? My last question for you, Henry. What was the name of the LGBTQ plus film with James Corden and vampires in it? What? It was on a Freaky Friday. I, I know it was like lesbian vampire something. Lesbian vampire killer. Uh, that is incorrect. All right. So Henry, all right. <laughs> Everyone was saying cats, and I was I like, I don't know. I think Bra. I think Bra. The women only. All right. All the vampires in prom and cats. Right, so I've already won, but this is the this is just for fun. Um, I had a tweet about Boyers Not Ballers that was liked by a celebrity with over what he already knows. <laughs> I had a tweet about Boyers Not Ballers that was liked by a celebrity with over a million followers, and it was George Takai oh, from God. Star Trek. Takaki, Jesus Christ. Oh, Goodness gracious. Can we cut that out? All right, well, uh, I'm toast. Cheers to Boyers 100. Uh, yeah. Henry wins. Nemo done the yacht. Oh, <laughs> that's, the, that's the freaky bourbon, isn't it? Freaky, that's not good. Friday. I'm not going to show the label. All right. We are coming. No free ads. We are coming to the end of Boyer's 100. Aww. Aww. We are bummed out, but uh, I won't survive that. I need to have some food. But <laughs> so the MVP. Race. No, 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 no. So the way we used to end shows a lot during season one into season two was a segment called Three Cheers, which was Henry and I would grab a beer, open it, and cheers three people across like a wide scope. It was NBA players, it wasn't, it was like athletes, people we knew, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And part of the reason we stopped doing it, I don't even think I've told you this, is I started like, I got a job finally, and I was like drinking Woo! beers on a Friday at like noon, but I was also like working for a company, and I felt like that was probably fucked up to keep doing, so we stopped. We also stopped releasing the episodes on Fridays. Yes, we, that's, that was the other thing. It was like, grab your beers, it's Friday, cheers to the freaking weekend, all of that fun stuff. Um, but, in honor of Boyer's 100, folks, grab a drink, grab join it. us in a cheers. Everybody get a little drink, get a bevy. And, Come uh, on in there. Uh, Jamie, get in there. <laughs> get your gulp. CJ, I know it's your favorite thing to do, so shall we do the honor? Yes. Um, grab, grab your beers. It's time for three, three cheers. cheers. All right. 100 cheers. <laughs> folks. Cheers number 63. Do you want to start, Henry, or do you want me to start? Start. All right. Start. This individual has left such an impact on the show. Oh, this individual <laughs> has succeeded in their professional career. And this individual, when you think of a. a <laughs> <laughs> So Jamie's definitely not getting the cheers now, but <laughs> when you think of this person, you think of a proud institution. Mm -hmm. And when I think of this person, if this person brings you a lot of joy, and what's so tough about this individual I'm about to cheers is they had it all in their hands. They could have walked off into the sunset and been remembered as a national champion, as a proud cavalier. <laughs> But instead, they tried to make the Hail Mary pass. They tried to be the winner. So I, on Boyers 100, for the final time, the nail in the coffin as this guy becomes a used car salesman. Cheers to motherfucking Kihei Clark. Cheers to Kihei Clark. Ha, ha, ha. Goodbye, Kihei. You will not be missed. <sighs> I really should have expected that. <laughs> I was like, let me go first. I thought you were first. Let me go first. No, I, I had to get it out of the way because I have a bad, I had a bad feeling. He, yeah. We've only had the same three cheers person once. And who was it? Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, Lewis Hamilton we both cheers once. The proper lad from Hartfordshire. Hartfordshire and Stevenage. Yes. All right, Henry, your first cheers. 
I should have expected that. But <laughs> my first cheers goes out to a guy. So uh, we've said his name already, and he's been a main character on this, this season particularly. But I think I've told you, and many of you not, may not know, and if you're a listener, you might know. I have, I've known Kevin Herter for a long time. I, re- I remember a Kevin Herter when he was 15 years old. At because sh- he's from New York. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> so, so ke- ke- you knew that was that was a layup. Kevin Herter. <laughs> Kevin Herter went to Shenandoah High School in upstate New York, and I followed his. I remember when Kevin Herter was a high school basketball player. He was my age. Were you there in the crowd reading the paper, like watching? Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna mention your name on a podcast in eight years. Yeah, I had the sign. So Kevin Herter. I remember when he was just a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Those strong arms shooting that basketball. <laughs> Cut this. So oh, keep it. Um, but Nobody's so. so sweaty working in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> so keep going. <laughs> so, cheers to Kevin Herter. Because I followed his basketball career for a long time. We know. Yeah. <laughs> That's been established. <laughs> and yeah, but I just remember him being really good and watching his, him in high school. When I was in high school, I'm like, oh shit, I wish I was that good. Because frankly, he was an awesome white boy and I wanted to be that awesome white boy and I wasn't. Up as many threes. Oh, <laughs> is that true? Did you, were you a, a shot guy? In, in no. He wasn't allowed to. I, no. Yeah. Which wasn't his fault. My high school That's basketball coach, we had like three games on the season where we scored under 30 points. <laughs> Yeah. You we definitely w- DM'd him good luck before the state title game. Did not do that. Did not do that. Although he did beat Brentwood in the state title game, and I watched it online because I was rooting for Brentwood. Why? So cheers to Kevin Herter. Cheers to Brentwood. Cheers to Kevin Herter. <laughs> Kevin Herter. <laughs> Tough act to follow there. Um, my, my second cheers is, is a personal cheers, a family cheers. Yeah. I want to give a cheers to my Aunt Tara. My Aunt Tara, I found out, Cheers Aunt Tara, has been catching up on boyers, not ballers. Now, granted, it's not really one that you catch up on because it's, it's, like a, it's like a week-to-week thing. But she's still listening to all these old episodes. And I'll, I'll look at our stats. And I'm like, who listened to this like season two All-Star Game prediction episode? <laughs> My Aunt Tara. Thank you for listening to our show. We appreciate it. She'll shoot Thank you a text, you. and she's like, what do you think about Trey Young dominating the Knicks in Madison Square Garden? <laughs> Which, we appreciate you listening. Boyers 100 is waiting for you when you catch up. Cheers to you, Aunt Tara. Thank you for listening. Ooh. Aunt Tara. My second cheers will be to my lovely, wonderful girlfriend, Jen, who hey. cannot be hey. in attendance. She hey, is Morton. She is uh, doing... Pander. What? Pander. Pander. <laughs> <laughs> she is... Uh, she, <laughs> Henry's gotten killed for his cheers. Mine like, oh, that's very good. Very nice. Yeah, that's fun. Poor Henry. Should I even keep doing these no, cheers? No, come on, man. Keep doing them. So she's not here, obviously. She's a much more accomplished person than I am, and I just thank her for her support and telling me to continue doing this, even though sometimes I'm like, damn, I feel like a loser. No. Like, I just talk about basketball stats for an hour straight every single week, and no one listens to my part, and they just skip ahead to CJ because he's funnier. No, that's not true. That's but not she true. continues to provide me support and makes me feel comfortable, comfortable in myself, and I love her very much for that. For the record, you for the inside. Yeah, you know ball. You know, some people are saying you know ball, and I don't even know ball. So like, don't put yourself down like that. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. I have to make the joke, or why am I going to be here? So, anyways, <laughs> my last cheers. You know, it's, it's interesting. Like, this, this night's been amazing. Henry and I, the Super Bowl last year, had teased an idea of doing a live show in our apartment in Chelsea. Um, and due to a combination of 20,000 mice living there, I broke my ankle. I shaved my beard by accident. Like, it was just like, it wasn't right. The stars weren't aligned. The stars weren't aligned. And I, and I remember thinking, like, God, like, I, I wish we could, like, have the opportunity to do that because I think what's cool about our show is that we try to have fun with it. And if you listen for like a minute, like, thank you. We appreciate it. Like, you know, I I kind of alluded to it. Like I was like unemployed and I was like, I called someone I worked with and I was like, Hey, 
do you have a job for me? And the guy was like, no, but <laughs> what else is and going And that was it. <laughs> he, was like, but you gotta, the story. you gotta do something to feel like fulfillment. And I think doing this show every week has brought me more fulfillment than I could have ever imagined doing. And it's funny, like, we don't do this alone. I mean, getting this whole thing set up, like, you all came here, affair. it was a group affair. James, Patty, Connor, you know, like helping us like get this all going. Henry, Nikki for coming on, Joey Swass for coming on. Like there's just been so many people that like help us do what we do. And then obviously you, buddy, like doing this every week when he's only missed one episode. Only missed one episode. I think I've missed when three. I went under the knife. Yeah, he got he got a nose job. <laughs> Thank God. But uh like, you know, I, I didn't even mention like like Trevor too has done a lot for yeah. us. Like I, I think it's like yeah, big tunas. we yeah, yeah big tunas. Like we, it's hard to like say thank you enough and like just to do this and and to do this like to make this happen. Like I, I could have never imagined it. Um, so and th and then for everyone sitting and listening to this fucking sermon, it, it just it means a lot. So thank you everybody for for coming, Henry, I mean, I couldn't, like, when I first met, Henry in my phone is Henry the lawyer. I thought this guy was just some, like, law school stiff. He used to, like, live in our apartment and not wear a shirt. It was a hideous scene. He played, like, Apex Legends all the time. I was like, this guy's banged up. Like, this guy's a mess, and... This guy doesn't have I, much of a future. I like, I, I love you very much, and thank you for doing the show with me, man. I, 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 I couldn't have imagined doing a hundred of these with you, and thanks for sticking by me with all my craziness so cheers to you cheers to all of you for everything thank you and now to, now I, I know I took it so this is my, my, my cheers was to everyone Dave, else no, as take, well give your speech, give your speech. I don't really have they're much not, of a diatribe to go on not going anywhere. Take, give your speech. I don't need to I just echo everything you said and you know it's it's very humbling that like you know I it's stupid, it's silly, and I, every time I describe the podcast, I say, like, oh, it's just something silly and stupid that I do. But, like, I do genuinely put effort into it, and I do care about it. And it does mean a lot that there are people out there who, and I'm sure all you guys haven't listened to every episode or even many episodes. Connor, but the fact that, I know Connor has. But Connor the fact that you guys are, but hey, the fact that you Connor. guys have at least off. put in a Friday night to come here when you could have been doing something else is pretty meaningful to me, and... I, I just can't really express how much I, I do appreciate you guys and anybody else who listens. Like, my uncle listens. My dad will listen, even though he doesn't really understand what's going on. Like, I'll, I'll have friends who listen in as well from time to time. And it's, again, it's a little silly, and we just do it mostly for ourselves. We're not doing it to achieve professional success. Although, if you're out there Hello? with any promotional <laughs> offers, Did you we, enjoy are, this? we are for sale. <laughs> we are for sale. I'll we'll take anything. <laughs> Um, but yeah, overall, I'm just very, very grateful to be able to have a dozen people here in the backyard listening to us being jackasses yeah. for a little bit of time. And I really have genuinely enjoyed all of these episodes with you, even though sometimes I'm in a crappy mood due to other things going on in my life. But I still, I still suck it up and I do it and you put up with me and you put up with my dorkiness and my nerdiness and... All of the parts of the podcast that make it uninteresting to listen to. <laughs> Interesting yeah. to listen to for like the one person out there who's like, you know, his Raptor takes are pretty good. <laughs> his ELO ratings are kind of you on know, point. Kevin O'Connor talks about Guitar Hero. Yeah. So he some like straight takes. Yeah. So again, I just, I'm just very, very grateful that everyone, that I have such an incredible group of friends that care about me and care about this creative outlet that I've found for myself, even though it's small, <laughs> even though it's in the grand scheme of things, unimportant but it's important to me and it's important to cj and i think that you guys have all contributed to like uh, a good amount of happiness in my life and his life and at a time in which in your mid-20s you're questioning a lot but i i'm just grateful for all of you so thank you i think you weren't gonna say that that's crazy no i um what was that that was that was nothing yeah henry you're the best. I, I'm, I'm lucky to get to do it with you um, each and every week. It's, it's just been a joy. So thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to that. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. I love you, man. Cheers. You thank too. you. Thank you for doing this. Um, so that's the show. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Kelly, is that you over there? <laughs> My waiter asked me if I served. <laughs> and guess you, you did. Served. <laughs> Matt Marshall at the buzzer. Cheers to you, sir. <laughs>
Um, that's been Boyer's 100. Thank you for listening. Woo! Cheers to 100 more. Henry, to everyone who put this together. Connor, Woo! Patty, James, the rest. Nikki, Joey, Sloss, thank you. Cheers, thank folks. You. Have a good night. Thank you. Anyway. <laughs>